If you're scratching your head over those daily charts, forget about finding a decent entry point. If you're scratching your head over those daily charts, forget about finding a decent entry point. Uh, C. The JPY hit a rock solid level. The signal was crystal clear and the JPY delivered big time. All right, let's take a peek at the market right now. So the euro, it's just hanging there, not doing much of anything. You see, both this level and that one doesn't really matter anymore. The asset isn't showing any clear direction yet. Now, here's a crucial thing you need to grasp, and it's a pretty big issue for you. You're trying to dig up something in the assets. When the daily chart isn't offering much, you start peeping at the hourly, then the 30-minute charts. You're bound to stumble upon some garbage. The strongest signals always come from the daily charts. And all those pictures that don't make sense during the day, they will never give you a decent entry point. It's crucial to get that, you know? Signals are meant to be traded when the daily chart has some real muscle behind it. All right, let's take a peek at NZD. Nothing much is happening with NZD. Now, let me point out where the signal is. JPY, check it out. JPY had a solid level. The signal was there and JPY delivered big time. You have to grasp one thing. Signals should always come from the daily charts. Always. Now, about trading on local time frames. When's the right time for that? You can trade on a local time frame when the asset has made a really strong move. So, my dear friends, it's crucial to only trade those strong signals on the daily charts, like I mentioned earlier. On lower time frames, like hourly or less, you have to wait for the asset to make a real bold move before jumping in. Oh, and about oil today, it was also a strong signal. We'll get to that in a bit. If you're trading on the daily chat, you'll be golden. Keep a sharp eye. I didn't bring up the Australian dollar today for one simple reason. It didn't have enough room to travel toward the level. These points just aren't cutting it. Sure, I see some action, but that's not going to cut it, because we don't have even two take profits lined up here. If there are some real hefty levels near the asset, all right, let's keep it moving. Swiss franc, nada. GBP's barely budging. It's like watching paint dry. See, they're just not letting it rip. So, like I was saying, I aim to give signals where there's some emptiness. Take today, for example, I called out oil. Man, did oil make a move, gave me over a buck. That's like 1.2, 1.3%. That's some solid action for oil. Gold, silver, nothing for now. Maybe today, if gold and silver start showing some life, I'll definitely give them a shout. Gold, still nothing. It's understandable, though, after the massive moves we've seen here. Nearly 20%. That's a hefty move for gold. Typically, assets like these kind of just taper off slowly after a big surge. S&P. If it manages to consolidate above this level, we're gearing up to hit those highs. All right, let's keep it rolling. PLN, zilch. Your CAD, nada. GBP, NSD is gearing up. Maybe today we'll bring some action. GBP, JPY is on the radar. Haven't spotted your AUD. No signals on my end. Keep a close eye. Your JPY is the real deal. It's on a roll. I'm in on a solid long position. Chances are it'll keep climbing. Check this out. That's where the level is coming from. Because initially, we dipped in relation to the level. Then we saw a strong push relative to the level. So a breakout can only happen in relation to the level. Let me demonstrate. I'll show you right now. Two levels. Hang on a second. I'll lay out two levels. TRB. Everything's happening in real time. See, there you have the levels. Keep your eyes peeled. Now let's map out the levels where we'll likely hit the first stop at TRB. Pay close attention. That's a hefty level. Big paranormal bar. TRB is still on the rise. Chances are we'll see some action in relation to this level. And that's where it all comes together. This right here marks the rollback boundary. If you crack open the Active Traders course book, it's all in there detailing how to nail down this level. Now let's peep Prontus. This setup is looking really good. Our first pit stop is going to be right here. And keep a close eye on this level. This one is the first level. Remember that paranormal bar? That's where it all started. We need to have those channel boundaries locked in. Now, onto the Euro. We can tweak the Euro level a tad, right about here. In this scenario, the level is drawn based on the bar that saw a false breakout. All the other levels, they aren't relevant anymore. When's it time for a level readjustment? When the asset opens and closes above and below the level in different directions. Now, 
onto NZD. Check it out. That level is still holding strong. I didn't mess with it. Got hit with a false breakout relative to this level. Here's our first level. The one that sparked the reversal. Take a look right here. The asset opened. All right, let's talk shop. Here it is. This is the first level where the action kicks off. 62 is a powerhouse level. Volatility is off the charts right now. Hold on, let me break it down for you. Give me a second. Can you see the five minute chart? Awesome. Take a close look. Even if you spot some killer levels, I mean top notch stuff, don't even think about touching this asset. You'll get chewed up and spit out. Pay close attention to your stop loss size. With assets like these, you have to wait for that volatility to simmer down. Ignore all the noise. These are likely just some problems. So chill and wait for the volatility to calm its jets. See how the asset marked the lower and upper boundaries? This is an upper boundary. Here's my golden rule. Only make a move when the volatility settles. It's a five minute chart. If you're seeing bars that swing a dollar or more on the five minute chart, steer clear, my friend. Small bars are what you're after. Now, on to the next one. Let's talk trip. Trip is looking much more promising. You see, trip is shaping up nicely. If it goes to break out its peak, right at 1829, you might want to jump in. Here's trip, back in the long zone, right over here. Level 117 was given yesterday. I'm giving you the play-by-play -play in real time. Not sure what went down. Let's keep it moving. Not a great day today, but hey, it's all good. That $117 entry point, excellent point. Take a close look. We've got ourselves a parabolic curve and it's tightening up. When an asset hits a level, doesn't have a deep rollback and bounces right back. That's your breakout signal. The asset gave the reversal signal right here only. All right, time to switch it up to 15 minutes. Check it out. Here's stop loss number one, two, three, four. And this is where it worked. Time to cash in those profits. There's no breakout here. You cannot take a breakout. This asset is gearing up for a breakout. Knowing where to set your exit stops is key. That way you can ride out the entire move. It happens sometimes the asset rolls back. No worries.